Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi wahdah Wassalatu wassalam ala nabina Muhammadin Wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Ayuhal Muslim My dear brothers and sisters Please join me on this short video Where I want to talk from an Islamic perspective The amount of insults, bullying, conspiracies and this disrespect that is trending in our society in our community respect is a very rare commodity it's something that is not in our midst suspicion slander they are absolutely outrageous currently the atmosphere that we all witnessing is quite toxic to the point that grudges hate jealousy arrive you hate someone because he has wealth or he has fame remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who favors who favors people with wealth long life fame and popularity Allah he mentioned wallahu faddala ba'dukum ala ba'din fi rizq this Allah he mentioned in surah al-nahli ayah number 71 and Allah honored some of you over others with wealth and properties we have allowed ourselves to be involved in squabbles, pettiness, insult, ridiculing our parents. If you insult somebody's parent, certainly you have insulted your own parent. Because if you insult, that means you don't show respect for your parents. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he declared cursing one's parent as one of a major sin in Islam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Among the major sins is a man cursing his parents. The people who were with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, can, How can someone insult his parents? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, If you insult somebody's mother and they insulted you back, you have shown an insult to your mother. We have to show respect. We have to realize, brothers and sisters, that is very near. Every day we are witnessing the death from this coronavirus and mass funerals are taking place. In this funeral, some of your loved ones you will not be able to, to see in their last moment. I would believe that during this time of self-isolation, people will come to realize and address themselves, look at their sins inwardly, internally, and try to see how to get closer to Allah. Our faith should overcome the pride, arrogance, and egoism that is riding in ourselves. You cannot be superior to other human beings through your family lineage, your current status, or your wealth. 